Today is Monday, the 20th of February, and I'm Duane Sands, the chairman of the Free National Movement. One primary duty of government is the protection of the health and welfare of its people. You see, the public's health can be preserved with timely information, advice, and intervention. But sadly, this point seems to be lost on this administration. Did you know that across the Bahamas for the last few weeks, we have seen an upsurge in respiratory illnesses affecting adults, infants, and children. And yet, despite this huge upsurge, very little information has been provided for parents to protect their children. So many children have been impacted that emergency rooms, clinics, and doctor's offices have been inundated with children with severe respiratory and gastrointestinal complaints. A number of children have required hospitalization, some in the ICU. And sadly, you've heard nothing about this from your government. Over-the-counter and prescription medical medications such as Tylenol, Panadol, cough medicines, Ventolin, and other drugs are dwindling, and in some instances, completely out of stock across the Bahamas. Pediatricians are overwhelmed. These viral syndromes are protracted and often leave their patients debilitated with chronic symptoms that last for weeks. Many adults are suffering as well. And sadly, we have not been briefed by our Ministry of Health or by the Ministry of Education on the severity and number of persons, and in particular children, presenting with these illnesses. And no specific advice has been offered about interventions to prevent the spread. There's been no advice on countermeasures such as hand washing, respiratory hygiene, or considerations for masking, especially in large groups. And we also have not been receiving timely and accurate information, not just on these viral syndromes, but on the clear, definite increase of COVID-19 across the Bahamas and the plans to arrest the uptick. We expect, we demand an urgent update from the Ministry of Health because someone is clearly asleep at the wheel.